Missouri has got about 42 million walnut trees. That is more than twice as many walnut trees as any other state. Expert tree farmer Harlan Palm not only maintains his own property, he also works with new farmers to improve their walnut trees. I've been working on several farms. They have a son or a daughter and, and the farm will hopefully stay in the family. It will develop into a legacy. All these farmers know that walnut is the most valuable tree that can grow on their farm in Missouri. One adjective uh, to describe Harlan, well, if we're talking about walnuts, it's definitely gonna be passionate. He's very, very careful about teaching me each thing uh, very, very in depth. He's very, very good teacher. The farms where I've been uh, working with the landowner, they are developing ownership in terms of pride. Now what they're doing is they're, they're increasing the potential value of their trees with getting that straight, good quality trunk on the tree. Grafton Cook is the sales manager at Mopac Lumber, a walnut hardwood producer in central Missouri. It's a family owned business. We have perhaps 40 to 42 employees here. We're probably 90% of our production is all walnut. The lumber will go into architectural millwork, cabinetry, uh, furniture manufacture for items such as flooring, plaques, and trophies and things of that sort. We bring walnut timber in from every county north of us, north of I-70 in the state of Missouri. From a value standpoint, uh, the trees on this farm, if they are allowed to grow to their maturity, the value could be somewhere around 400,000 to uh, possibly a half a million dollars. But I do know that the, the hardwood lumber business here in the state of Missouri contributes uh, approximately $5.7 billion to the economy and it employs uh, close to 32,000 people. Some other farms where I'm working on uh, are way over a million, a couple million dollars worth of walnut trees on the farm. And that is potentially gonna be cut short if Thousand Cankers comes in and, and takes out the, the walnut trees. Bill Toomey is the Director of Forest Health Protection for the Nature Conservancy. Black walnuts are being threatened by something called thousand canker disease. The disease complex is caused by a fungus carried by the walnut twig beetle. Literally thousands of beetles attack a tree and bore into the bark and bringing the fungus into the tree, thereby causing thousands of cankers that ultimately kill the tree. To date, thousand cankers disease has never been found in either the natural forests or the managed tree farms of the eastern U.S. Scientists and tree farmers alike in states like Missouri are on the lookout for this threat and for potential solutions. A lot has been learned to be able to suppress, contain, and maybe even locally eradicate the walnut twig beetle. The other main vector are humans. Humans are the ones that carry it long distances. Than the the next day or two, why it's, it's transmitted to another state. Because the beetles are so tiny and the holes that they bore are so small, it's very difficult to detect this infestation in the, in the early stages. Unfortunately, by the time you, you can see the signs visually, the tree is, is pretty far gone. Harlan Palm is also president of the Walnut Council a science-based organization that encourages research, discussion, and application of knowledge about growing hardwood trees. Thousand Cankers Disease is of great concern to the Walnut Council members, the, the landowners in particular, because they have been probably in my situation working towards raising walnut trees for 40 years. It's gotten to be part of our personal legacy within the family and so on, and now Thousand Cankers Disease could wipe that out. In certain parts of the country where black walnut is prevalent, a number of families and communities have Built their, built their livelihoods around this particular tree species, and all of that is potentially threatened by this, um, by this disease. Well, when I first uh, heard about the thousand canker disease, it really just stopped me in my tracks because it made me realize that we have something so small that could absolutely devastate our forest. It can have a financial impact, it can have a nature impact, it can have a family impact. We're very concerned about it, not only because it is a disease of mortality for the tree's perspective, but it's gonna have a direct bearing on our ability to 
a source of raw materials in order to operate the sawmill. There's no question in my mind, if the walnut twig beetle were to infest walnut trees, that it would be absolutely devastating for our industry. So far, the walnut twig beetle has yet to be discovered in Missouri. We are looking intensely, but we have not seen any evidence of thousand cankers disease in Missouri. The state has been very proactive. They put a quarantine on wood, walnut wood, from other states with known um, infestations. Because the thousand canker disease is so difficult to diagnose, people can inadvertently move infected wood to uninfected areas. So it's, it's our recommendation that people really try and keep the wood as local as possible. There are lots of things that the, the average person can do. If you're aware of a black walnut in your community and you notice that is uh, starting to show signs of decline, call either your state forester, your department of agriculture. The sooner we can find this, the, the quicker we can respond, and the more options we're going to have to, to deal with this, this devastating disease. For more information, check out thousandcankers.com. Inspecting incoming cargo, tree surveys in our communities, and quick actions after a new pest is spotted. These are all ways the government's working to prevent the arrival, establishment, and spread of forest pests. But citizens have the greatest power to protect trees in their community. Keep an eye out for bugs you don't recognize. Only buy firewood where you will burn it. And always dispose of brush and other yard waste properly. Don't move firewood. Support efforts to control and eradicate pests in your area. Our world won't slow down, but with your help, our treasured trees and forests will thrive long into the future.